our entire goal, our aim is to find that last out of school girl who's been excluded from an education. You know, either she's dropped out or has never been enrolled. And our mission is to find her, to bring her back into school, make sure that she's staying and learning and thriving. We realized that Educate Girls needed a way to predict which villages had the most out of school girls without needing to rely on an expensive or slow door by door census. We have so much data. We've actually knocked on millions of households. What can we do with this? And how do I leverage this for higher impact? These data sources weren't always very accurate. So we would end up with carpet bombing. We would cover 100% of villages in a program district. And then in, in these 100% of villages, about 20, 30% villages wouldn't have a single out of school girl. So we would disproportionately allocate resources in some uh, uh, villages and then some villages would stay uh, under-resourced. Um, to accomplish this, we decided to build together a targeting algorithm using common machine learning techniques uh, to try to predict the number of out-of-school girls in each village. Uh, this was particularly difficult in this case as we are working with data from over 200,000 villages across northern India. Um, so over several months, we cleaned and we merged all the data, which actually ended up being the most labor-intensive part of the process. And then from there, we spent three to four weeks building a proof-of-concept algorithm that allowed us to predict how many uh, out-of-school girls uh, we expected to find in each of those 200,000 villages. So we were very apprehensive to begin with because we did not really know how predictive modeling uh, worked. You know, so when ID Insight presented their first uh, uh, you know, version of the model, we really did not know uh, whether we could rely on the on the what the model projected for us. Uh, the algorithm has helped us uh, improve our outcomes-based approach. Um, the results really drastically exceeded my initial predictions and expectations. To give you an idea, when we first started working with Educate Girls, they were finding between 10 and 15 out-of-school girls per village um, on average over the course of a year. And in our latest round of expansion, they found around 46 out-of-school girls per village, which is a 3x increase. Um, when you think about that applied to the 20,000 villages that Educate Girls uh, had planned to expand to over a five-year period, this means just from this targeting approach, uh, they will reach around uh, 600,000 extra out-of-school girls for roughly the same budget. In the first 10 years of my journey, I was able to enroll 340,000 out-of-school girls. At that run rate, to bring back 1.5 million girls would take me 45 years. And this level of insight, what it does is it supercharges the speed and scale of impact that I can now bring 1.5 million girls out of school in five years because I know exactly where they are and I know exactly how to solve this problem. And that's what ID Insight really did for us. It kind of said, you know what, what you would do in 45 years, let's do it in five years. My recommendation would be, please don't be apprehensive of, of leveraging data. It has immense power. It gives you a leg up when you are crafting solutions for the ground. It gives you a leg up when you are advocating for improved investment in, in certain public goods. It gives you a leg up when you are negotiating with your funders. So we, as civil society, perhaps we have never really uh, understood the power of data. As an organization, Educate Girls has benefited immensely uh, from our partnership with ID Insight. What I find really special about ID Insight is that they are your true partners in chasing impact, in chasing this, not from just an evaluation, policing, research leads, but they are your operational partners. 